Okay guys, so as promised, here is my review of the Costa Maya Cruise Port. Good morning everybody from Costa Maya, Mexico. This is my first time here, never been to this port. So all my plans for today, I'm going to take you guys into the port area and just have a walk around and see what it offers. It is very windy today. We are parked and this boat is moving. <laughs> you can feel the waves and the wind hitting us. We are rocking a lot. So let's go enjoy this windy day and check out this port in Costa Maya. Okay, so we're heading out to the port now, and like I said, it's very windy, and I forgot my microphone at home, so I'm probably not going to be able to talk to you guys much, so I'll probably just have to do a walk around, and then I'll do the voiceover later on tonight. Okay guys, so as promised, here is my review of the Costa Maya cruise port. Now this is just for the immediate port area as soon as you get off the ship. This isn't including anything that's outside of the port area, this is just for what was in the port. So as you can see when we got off the ship it was a very windy day today. Very windy. I had never heard waves crashing up against a boat as I did on this day. It sounded like we were getting hit with missiles constantly. It was actually pretty cool. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what is free and what is not free in the port area of Costa Maya. I do have to say, Costa Maya probably isn't my favorite port area. I hear that there are beautiful beaches and fun things to do outside of the port area if you want to take a taxi or rent a golf cart or go on an excursion or something outside of the port area. There is lots of things to do, but just for the immediate that port's terminal area, that's what we're going to go over. And honestly, probably wasn't my favorite, but let's dive into it. So immediately getting off the ship, you're going to walk down a long pier towards the cruise terminal area. There is uh, shuttles or like little taxi things that can take you from the ship to the port area if you do have mobility issues, which is a nice option. Immediately when we got off the ship, there was this man playing. It looked like a harp, but I'm going to think it's a harp, and it was actually really beautiful. It was nice to see that first thing getting off the ship. So you can see here that the uh, Costa Maya port is actually, the one thing about it is it's very pretty, it's very lush, a lot of nice buildings, it feels, it feels like you're on an island in Mexico because you are. So it is a very pretty port. Now you, you see right here next to us there's like this undeveloped beach area. I wonder if they ever plan to expand into that beach and offer a free beach at in the port area because right now there is not a free beach. There's not a beach at all in the port area. Um, so as you see as we come in we're greeted with some uh, dancers and some musicians, people saying welcome to Costa Maya, and then all of your signs showing you which way you need to go in the port for whatever you're doing. This port has a lot of shops, which is nice if you're a shopper, but what comes along with a lot of shops is a lot of people trying to get you to buy things. So I actually felt more harassed in this cruise port than I did at Cozumel. So it is constant. They're constantly on you to try to buy things, to try to um, get services, to get tours. It's, it's very like all the time. So just be prepared for that. So like I said, there are lots of shops, lots of places to eat, lots of different places to eat. 
Um, so make sure you go down all the little like alleyways too because there are a lot of different places to see if you go down the alleyways. And as you're walking through the shots, or as you're walking through the shops, you'll see above you the bridges. That's part of the um, Avarius tour, Avarius bird tour. It's not free, so make sure you do have to pay for that. I believe it was $14 a person. So that's one thing that is not included in your visit to the cruise port is the various experience. But you will get to see flamingos for free, which was really cool to see them. And we were able to see a couple of parrots that were just sitting and chilling in a tree. So that was nice as well. There is a free large saltwater pool available to swim in uh, in Costa Maya, as you can see here. There wasn't anybody at the pool when we were there. It was, it was kind of windy. It was still hot, but people didn't seem to be taking advantage of that. Now, just be warned of these chairs that are on the side of the pool. These are not free. You can sit there only if you order a food or a drink. I believe you only have to purchase one drink, though, so it might be worth it to you just to get a drink to have a chair, but they are not complimentary. But the pool itself is complimentary to use. There are definitely some very nice restaurants with some beautiful views of the water and the ship. You see this restaurant has like swings looking out towards the water. Not very many people there this day because it, again, it was very, very windy, but it does look like it would be a nice place to have a bite to eat. You can also see here, this is where the dolphin discovery area is. This is where the dolphin pens are. You can't, are able to see the dolphins without paying for anything. So if you want to just see dolphins, you don't have to pay for it. But if you do want to do a dolphin uh, excursion, I believe they started about $109 to do a swim with the dolphins. I personally don't like swimming with penned dolphins. It makes me sad. So I don't do it, but uh, it is available for you in the port if you want to do a dolphin swim and not want to have to take an excursion outside of the port area. So that is available to you at a cost. So now we're just walking around more. We're seeing some more restaurants. You see there's a te lots of tequila shops, chocolate shops, obviously Mexican food. Really nice decor. I do like the decor in Costa Maya. It is really, really pretty and there are some nice de design elements to this area. There was lots of cool little statues like alligators and fish that the kids really liked. And it seems like the further you go from the main terminal of closer to the ship the better the prices seem to get people are willing to uh, barter with you but um so don't always just go for the price that they say right away you can barter with them there there is this secondary area it's called the beach it's not a beach it's um more like a pool i would guess i don't even know if you could swim in it i know that there are steps going into it so I assume you might be able to, but again, uh, t chairs and umbrellas, but you can only sit there if you purchase food and or drink. So again, I think it's only one drink per person you need to order, but it's not free. The chairs are not free. You do have to purchase something. These waters are actually right next to the dolphin pens, so you can see the dolphins there as well. cool thing in the Costa Maya Cruise Port is they have this like hi uh, you see this tall pole kind of in the middle of the cruise port and you'll watch a show where four men uh go up the pole and then hang down from their feet and as the rope is untwining they slowly go down the pole which was actually really cool to see you will see at the bottom of the pole there is somebody walking around asking for tips and donations to the dancers so obviously support them if you're um so if you want to support the dancers you can obviously uh give a tip to help them out but it was actually really cool and something different to see during the um during the show they were explaining some of the things about their clothes and the culture which is really nice to listen to so that i really liked so overall, that is pretty much what you're going to get at the Costa Maya Cruise Port. Really, the only things that are absolutely free, you want to spend zero money, no cash at all. The only thing that is free is walking around, looking, looking at the flamingos and looking at the birds. And the swimming pool is free. You do not need to sit in those chairs and get food and drink to go in the pool. 
but if you want to sit down, then you need to get a food or drink. So really, the only thing that is ultimately 100% completely free is uh, just walking around the cruise port and the swimming pool. And that's pretty much it. And the entertainment, uh, unless you want to tip the dancers, which you should. So... So we walked around for about an hour, maybe, and then we headed back to the ship. You'll see passing us here is the shuttles, free shuttle that'll take you from the ship to the port area. If you don't feel like walking down the pier, beautiful view of the beautiful carnival celebration coming back up the pier. And then once we got inside, we just decided to walk around, enjoy the ship. I which I shot the my honest opinion of center stage on carnival celebration video make sure you stay tuned for that next week to see what i think the problem is with center stage on the carnival celebration but otherwise we just walked around the ship enjoyed some of the uh emptiness of the ship checked out some of the restaurants and stuff on six seven and eight you see here we went to uh emeralds and i'll sh so i could show you guys what the Menu on emeralds looks like. Well, Celebration has this beautiful glass staircase that I absolutely love. It's just beautiful. So I had to show you guys that. And we went towards the festival restaurant to see what was on the menu for that night. We didn't eat in a festival restaurant once on our whole cruise. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys, we are not MDR people. But maybe someday if we're back on the Celebration, we'll try the MDR out. Anyway, so then we finished the day off. I love making my own root beer floats when I'm on ships. I just get a can of root beer and get some of the free ice cream in a cup and make my own float. And that's one of my favorite treats to have on the cruise ship. And then we just relax for the rest of the day. So I hope this was informative for you for going to the Costa Maya cruise port and what costs money and what doesn't cost money. And like I said, make sure you stay tuned to next video where I give my full and honest review of center stage on Carnival Celebration. Bye, guys.